so I just found my PlayStation Vita, and with it, I got the uh, Persona 4 Gold on that. Uh, so I took a look at my save file, and I'm, well, I've obviously beaten the game, but like, I kept Black Frost until the end, and I'm kinda, kinda proud of that. He's my boy. Anyways, let's get back to, uh, regular Persona 4 playthrough. With normal-ass Jack Frost. We'll get him there someday. Alright, Persona 4, like, actually open, if you wouldn't mind. Why are you windowed? What the hell is going on? Alright, give me a sec. I'm gonna... Check this out. No. This is weird. Let's try closing it and reopening it again. This has never happened. Second time's the charm. There we go, we're actually full screen now. You know, now that I can stream off my PlayStation 5, like, I could stream Persona 5. I kind of want to do that. Alright, so, is Nanako cool to hang out yet? Nope. Nanako does not want to get closer to me yet. Go watch your weird panda show. I'm gonna, I don't know. Fucking read a book or something. Let's read Witch Detective. We're already one chapter in. You decide to continue reading Witch Detective, a plottingly written romantic comedy about a girl on her first day of school in a new town. Vampires are involved. The context of this book was almost physically painful for you to read. There's still some pages of which, uh, which detective left. You decide to save them to read next time. You know, I'm, I'm not going to doubt him that that book's painful to read, but, like, why would you keep on doing it? Uh, hi there. Hi, Kanji. <laughs> Where'd the manners come from? Yeah, you should be saying, like, fuck you. Well, um... I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Uh, thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. You know, I'm kind of proud of Kanji for having respect for his senpais. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who was that boy you met with? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Boys. Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. But I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy. You saying I like dudes? I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. You know what I mean, girl? Who's loud and obnoxious? Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? 
And I wish I could say guys are laid back, but I know a ton of guys who are like either balls of stress or not laid back and also assholes. And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. I mean, like, yeah, that might be funny, but honestly, I feel bad for Kanji throughout this whole game. Yosuke deserves to get, like, the shit kicked out of him. I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh... Our families run a textile shop for generations. Oh yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, Dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Don't feel bad, Kanji. I would absolutely love to learn how to make my own clothes. It's kind of the same feeling that I get with cooking, where, like, I learned how to cook because the people around me wouldn't cook the stuff that I wanted. If I learn how to make my, clo uh, my own clothes, then, like, the world's my oyster. I can make- I can wear whatever I want. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't act like a big shot. Yeah, you've pretty much seen the worst of me, huh? <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. Well, your shadow made it clear that, uh, your fear is of rejection. But all that's behind me. Wow. I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> don't call <laughs> him a good kid unless you're, you're gonna ruffle guy, his hair and say, ara, ara. Hey. Is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... Well, judging by the state of his shadow world, then yes, somebody came. To your house? Who was it? Oh, okay. Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Because you feel warm inside. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance. This entire sec- I'm not even gonna entertain it anymore. This entire section is innuendos. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. I mean, yeah. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Correct. Mm, well, something like that. Or just play. Anything I can do to help? If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? This won't be easy. <laughs> Don't worry. I ain't taking this lightly. You guys saved my life. I've made up my mind to risk my life for you. No, that's really nice of you, buddy. 
I'll do my best. And if that's not enough, then do my best. Kanji Tatsumi joined your group. He'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Rank up! Jeez, we're already rank four. Well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? Ooh. We're still calling it that? What? What's that? Come on, let's go. I'll be honest. The Phantom Thieves had a much better HQ. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? And Chie is like giving him the eye. She knows what she wants. I was listening. Ugh, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, wait, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, what, what is he, beating them to death? Exactly, Kanji. No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. Me too, it was actually quite obvious. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Bruh. He's got spiky blonde hair in a rural Japanese town. They... they couldn't... They have to know that he's right there. Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. Grab that chair, it's your weapon. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you dipshits? I mean, <laughs> boring. I can't blame him for that. That was an admirable it. response. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? They were all looking for hot studs. People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? I don't think that holds up. Hmm. Think we're wrong about this one, too? I don't know. That announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. We haven't come up with a reason yet why the killer would target their children. I mean, they're easier targets. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. Go for it, Kanji. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? I mean, fair. You took the paper from Kanji. There are several lists. Which one will you read out loud? <laughs> Alright, so... Yamano was... The female announcer. The list of TV programs... Eh... Then the okay. Let, let's see the t list of TV programs. Mayumi Yamano, 411. Saki Konishi, 413. What are these dates? April 11th. Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then, what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? Well, obviously means the Midnight Channel. 
What's Saki Konishi April 13th? That was the day I met her. That was probably the day she was on TV. I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? Probably. Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? And when so did the interview Kanji. air? Well, sort of. Kanji was filmed. I think he may have declined the I think interview. It was when I was absent from school. Um It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? I remember. I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... The date! Just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true, then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Well, that was where you met your demise, Yukiko. I mean, yeah. I'll go with that now for that now. I think about it. When the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. Maybe. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. What teenager calls, the ma uh, calls TV the mass media? Yosuke, I understand that you're trying to sound big brain, but maybe tone it down a bit. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Truly a conundrum, Yosuke. Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean... You guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. Is this going to be our new sitcom? Four senpais and a koha? That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. I mean, yeah. That's true, but... What's more, I mean, two people also died, so we're, like, we're right even at this point. Nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Yeah, we suck. We're not the greatest detectives, Kanji. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Got it. The next person we see on TV is going to be the next victim. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the midnight channel like usual when it rains. That reminds me. The school campout's next week. I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun. Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Yo, yeah, but we gotta go camping. if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Now you know that's gay innuendo, Chie. Huh? What's up? And besides, as we've learned, Kanji's into twinks, not bears. Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait. Or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. 
What? Yukiko just shuts him down, and that's why I love her. Yukiko is definitely not afraid to destroy oh, yeah. someone's hopes and dreams. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. In fact, she does it absentmindedly. Didn't think it was a bear, though. Hey, why is it a bear? I mean, why is you a human? I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering, too. Yeah. Teddy, uh, Teddy's slipping into an existential crisis at this point. It's kind of cute. M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering... You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Oh. Th that's uh... I mean, I did sense something in between uh, Yukiko and Chie, but I never what considered was it like that. for senpai... <clears throat> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. More gentle? Oh. What a pair of dimwits. Oh yeah, here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Ah, oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on. Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? Just gonna let that image stew for a second. Proceed. It, it looks perfect on you. <laughs> you know, my first year of college, I actually got a pair of the Persona 4 glasses. Uh, I had just, like, recently finished the game, so I figured, yeah, I'll just, uh, bring them to lens crafters and have them throw some... Mm, sorry. Throw some lenses in there. And I didn't think about it, but I've been wearing contacts the entire time. This was about halfway through college, uh, like, my first year. So, uh, I went in, and everyone's like, whoa, Carson, did you just, like, need glasses? And I'm like, no, I wear them all the time, and... They're like, what? And that's why I realized no one at the school had ever seen me without my contact lenses on. So it was like super jarring for everyone. <laughs> Damn, dude, it looks great on you. Unfortunately, the lenses, I had got a special coating on them that prevented glare, but it started scratching off, so there's like milky spots in the vision. Not only that, but like, you can tell that, uh, they were just supposed to be props, so the uh, the plastic started degrading quite quickly. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that. Kanji grabbed the other pair of glasses that Teddy was holding. At least someone's having a good time. You took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> oh, oh, my side. This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Also, why does Kanji get sunglasses? They actually look quite good. Not actually on the model, but like... Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> well, 
welcome back. What up, Dojima? Oh, hey, that means I can hang out with Dojima today. Hey! Hey, Josuke. What's wrong? Bored? You feel your relationship with Dojima is gonna become closer soon. Will you spend some time with Dojima? Yeah, sure, uh. fuck it. You're that bored? Well, have a seat. Dojima sighs, but he looks a bit happy. Hmm. I heard something at the station the other day. About, well... I heard you guys hang out at Juness pretty often. Well, yeah. Yosuke, Yosuke is like a big deal there. Dojima's probing stare hurts. Nothing wrong with that, of course. Question is... Why do you make so many trips to and from the electronics department? Why are you on my case? I just... All I wanted to do was hang out with you, because you're supposed to be my cool uncle, and now... Dad... Nanako, step in. Armbar, your dad. Oh, er... This isn't what you think. I'm not interrogating him. It's not fair! You're always talking with Big Bro! What? I mean, today you're home, but... I always talk with you. When is always? I... I wanna talk. Nanako rubs her eyes sleepily as she says it. <sighs> it's bedtime for you already. Go to sleep. I'll play with you. Next time. You promised! Nanako reluctantly returned to her room. Dojima! Not gonna say that you're a bad father, but you're definitely not gonna win Father of the Year while Nanako's still a child. Man. When is always, huh? Gonna, gonna roast Dojima right to her face. I feel sorry for her. Dojima looks bitter. The truth is, I mostly left raising her up to my wife, her mother. Well, that, that would, you know, track. So I don't really know how to approach her. Plus, I'm not fit to be her family. I mean, fucking fit or not, your family, dude. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Dojima's smiling wryly. You think just being related by blood makes you family? That's not the case. You feel you began to grasp the worries Dojima carries inside him. Rank up! The Ryotaro Dojima Social Link has reached level 3. Hierophant Arcana is all good now. Sorry. Oh, sorry. You didn't need to hear about that. Night. Get some sleep. Night. You said goodnight to Dojima and went to your room. Oh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. You know when I played this game the first time around, I was like, wow, what fucking losers. They're eating, like, Ichiban ramen and, like, getting super hyped about it. But recently, like, I want to say within the last couple of years, I've been, like, super into that, uh, Nong Shim Shin Cup Gourmet Spicy. And I prefer it to a lot of food that I make, to be completely fair. So I can see why, uh, they're super into instant noodles. You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Why are you so excited about that? 
That's right, it's the first time for you two. Yeah. You realize the only purpose of the school campout is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Got it. Inaba propaganda. Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Oh, that kind of sucks. Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass. That's slave labor. Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. Man, it's like June and they're still wearing their winter uniforms. When does... When does the winter semester end in Japan? Because, like, I was I was in Tokyo in September and it was boiling hot. Like, I, I could barely wear a tank top, let alone a cardigan. The four of us are in the same group. Oh, that's nice. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? Yes, Yosuke. Come join me. You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents! Also, you do realize that, like, Morioka's gonna be there, and he wants to give everybody a chastity belt, so he would not let that fly. I'm warning you. If you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. This gets worse and worse. I thought it was going to be fun. It's only for one night, and we've disbanded before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. Yes, Yosuke. You can, in fact, swim in a river. Unfortunately for you, the river in this town is called Samegawa, which means Shark River. Hey Jojo! Did you know this week is Health Week? And you're not a part of the Student Health Association. In other words, you're a lazy bum. I hate lazy good-for-nothing kids like you, so I'm signing you up to take a place of the sick member. Uh, wait! I, yeah, that's not fair. Quiet, you. I don't know what school's like for you big city kids, but here, it's every student's duty to pitch in. Don't tell me you're not enough of a man to do something this easy. How about, fuck you? Huh, too late. I already signed you up. Now get over there or face suspension. Um, good luck. Oh, Josuke-kun, was it? The transfer student, right? Well, hello to you, side tails and glasses. She actually, that is a very cute NPC design. Did you get hurt or something? You told them that you'd be sent to here. Sorry. You told them that you'd be sent here. I can't even speak today. You told them that you'd been sent here to replace a sick member. Thank goodness. We were running low on people. We need to check around the school to see if anyone needs help, but someone has to stay and watch this room. Josuke-kun, would you mind staying here and dealing with anyone that stops by? No touching the medicine, of course. If someone who shows up... If someone who's hurt shows up, use the first aid kit. The only other things you have to worry about are salesmen and phone calls. They're pretty uncommon, though. Why would a salesman approach a student inside of a school? Would they just, like, knock on the divider and be like, Hello, young man! Would you like to buy my collection of vacuum cleaners for your school? Like, what the fuck? The Student Health Association split up throughout the school. Someone's here! What's up, white-collar man? Hello! I'm Kitao from Sa Santo Pharmaceuticals. Huh. Aren't there any adults here? Could you deliver a message for me, then? Your school placed an order for Gauze, but I need to know if the order can wait until next month. Sorry, until the month after next. Okay, so like... Hey guys, we need Gauze, just in case like any of our students get injured. Oh yeah, but like, can you just not have injured students? 
for like two months. Like, what the fuck? Give my regards to your teacher. Thanks for your help. Anything happen? You told her that a representative from the pharmaceutical company came. Oh, we should have Sensei call him back. Do you remember his name? Don't remember if it was Santo or Sando. Sando is the Japanese word for sandwiches, but it could be... I'm gonna cheat on this. Hmm. Yeah, it's Santo. Oh, about the gods, huh? What do you say? Can't come in two months? Hmm. Got it. I'll call Sensei. You had to relay the message to the teacher. I contacted them immediately. Thank you. You gave them the correct information. Google gave them the correct information. Oh, hey, expression increased. Alright, let's discuss what we found while we were around the school. Okay, group one. Oh, that's right, you went alone. Yeah, since Konishi isn't here. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, Konishi-kun. He can't help it after what happened. Okay, so, okay. I thought Moroko was just being an asshole by saying, like, somebody's sick, but then it was the one who died, but I guess it's her brother. Okay. Yeah, poor thing. So you just have to do his part two. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm sorry I'm late. N no, it's okay. You don't have to come, really. Helping out at your parents' store is hard work, right? We have a replacement, so don't worry. I don't want to be the only one. Well, then you can help Josuke-kun clean up this room, then. We'll go report to the teacher, so why don't you clean a little and go home, okay? W well, goodbye! Yeah, honestly, Twin Tails and Glasses, it's, she is just a cute character design. I'm Konishi, a first year. You knew Saki Konishi? I'm her brother. You're friends with Hanamura, right? I hate him. And you too. Can I go home now? How about, fuck you? I have to help out at home. It's a mess. You understand, right? You can go home, after you help. Okay, I'll do the shelves. Can you hand me a rag? Fucking better. You did your part and helped the Student Health Association as ordered. The other members didn't return, so you decided to go home. Thanks, Nanika. Now, I, w I wanna make it clear that, like, if this were real life, I wouldn't have said, yeah, fuck you. But, the reason that I picked that option is because he specifically stated earlier that he didn't want to be the only one not doing their part. So, like, even if you hated me, you know, you, you fucking said that you wanted to help, so you better. Alright, Nanako, can, can we rank you up yet? Nope. Sorry, Nanako. You have nothing to offer me. That's harsh. But not untrue. Well? Uh, hi. It's Kanji. Are you doing anything tomorrow? I want to go inside the TV. I want to test my skills. Kanji hung up. You thought about exploring the TV world tomorrow. Okay. Sure.
Gonna read Witch Detective. You decide to continue reading Witch Detective. A plottingly written romantic comedy about a girl on her first day of school in a new town. Vampires are involved. Oh, sweet. So, uh, sorry, I just got an email. Uh, just... I, I have merch. I don't link it here because it doesn't really have anything related to the stream yet. It's mostly just, like, fan art and, like, my D&D character. But, uh... I'm getting some really good sales this month, and somebody bought socks of one of my designs. So, that's actually kind of rad. Thank you to whoever bought the socks. There's still some pages left, so we'll read it next time. I'll consider making merch once, you know, this channel has an identity. You know, my whole username thing is Space Shark, so I kind of want to make a, like a cool design of that, but I don't know which direction to take it. We'll see. It's June already, eh? Well, good news! Tatsumi-kun from the first year is back with us, so try to set good examples. I know it's the rainy season, and you may not be very motivated, but let's keep our spirits up together, okay? Anyway, I really hate this weather since I can't go out and exercise. But watching sports on TV isn't bad either. I saw a Haken Dai competition the other day. They do beautiful moves with a delicate sense of balance, though I can see why men would be afraid to try it. Ha 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 ha! Hey, Josuke Kun, what sport is Haken Dai? Okay, so that is something I have never encountered. Uh, die can mean big, but uh, let, let's look that up. Alright, well it says balance beam, but I don't know why, so let's figure that out. Let's see what the kanji are. Uh, I guess I can put into Google in hiragana. Interestingly, uh... At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, let's just double check that. Yeah, it has the same kanji as uh, the last era in Japanese history, uh, Heisei. So let's plug these kanji in and see what they mean individually. Alright, so Hei can mean flat. Sorry, this might be a little bit boring, but like I'm I'm legitimately interested in finding out like what the individual kanji mean. You gave the answer you think is correct. Wow, I'm amazed that you knew that, Josuke, but you sh you should ask me if you have questions. Yukiko, oh jeez. But you should ask me if you have any questions, Yukiko-chan, not him. Balance beam is Heikendai in Japanese. I bet you kids hear the word beam. You think about lasers or something. But it refers to the timber, or beam. And balancing on a wooden beam is mighty tricky. Boom, the sport of balance beam is born. Oh, I n never really thought of it that way. Interesting. 
You're a smart guy, Josuke-kun. Thank you. Yukiko appreciates you. You become a little closer to Yukiko. How's it going, Butter Jam? Persona is Weenie Hut Jr. Jojo? I mean... What is Persona 4 but Jojo Part 4? You're hey, in a small town investigating a serial killer and shenanigans is, uh, ensue and also everyone's in high school. It, I mean, like, if... If Dojima were a marine biologist, then we'd be, like, golden. Ha! Because of the game's Persona 4 Golden. Hey, verifi uh, Verified Guy, what's up? Hey, guess what I just heard? When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play! Wait, hold up. Putting a baseball team together? I don't know baseball. No, not that kind of squeeze. I guess it's more like smooshing. Are you talking about boobs? Sorry, I got it ahead of myself. What I mean is. He's talking about boobs, isn't he? I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back. How did I call it? I was joking, but Yosuke. Yosuke underestimated you. No, you know what? I'm gonna play dumb. What do you mean, Yosuke? What presses against my back softly? Oh, don't make me spell it out. Anyway, I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? So I got you this. Wanna get your license with me, partner? It's a manual for getting a motorcycle license. Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget. But at least that'll let us get to new places. Don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case? So what's really weird about Persona 4 Golden is how much emphasis they put on, like, the motorcycle thing. Uh, to the point where it becomes, like, a mechanic in battle. Like, straight up, one of the characters can, like, ride in on their motorized vehicle of choice and, like, destroy the enemy with it. I think Kanji's is even an AoE. It's crazy. Yosuke seems serious about this. Sup, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? We're talking about Kinda. boobs. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. No, we're not bringing a war. What does that mean, anyway? What's the difference between a persona and a stand? Actually, I know this one. Uh, fundamentally, they're the exact same thing. Uh, a stand is a manifestation of the user's spirit caused by the stand arrow. Uh, whereas a persona is a manifestation of the human spirit caused by a number of things. Uh, confronting your personal demons, uh, trauma, uh, trip to Igor's office. So, like, fundamentally they're the same thing, they're just activated differently just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. I guess, like, comparatively, like, you could think of the main character of Persona as a person who can have, who can collect different stands. So, it's actually quite interesting, because, like, everyone else has their own personal stand that reflects who they are and the powers that they bring forth, but if you're a blank slate, then the world's your oyster. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way! Don't tell me you already... And I believe uh, both series use Jungian uh, psychology in order to, like, develop how their punching ghosts work. Oh, and also, I guess, instead of uh, naming them after music... They name, uh, they're actually the manifestations of historical or mythological beings. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know if anyone out there was with me when I was playing Fate Stay Night, but uh, Lancer, Kuhalan, is a Persona here. Uh, and, you know, they, not in this game, but in Persona 5 when they added the lore lore page, they actually talk about his whole backstory, so... 
Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? He ran. Eh, the bike's all I need for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. In any right. case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Oh. Are, Up are you... Up-close-and-personal? What does that mean? Are you saying he likes dudes? Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle, and then... And then... And then... A girlfriend. Okay, so we can choose the option that just stabs Yosuke right, right in the kidney. We can be the one to make him sound more stupid, or we can just insult him to, uh, to his face. I'm gonna twist the knife. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be an asshole. Why'd you bring that up? Well, I mean, I gotta get over her sometime. It's like Senpai was. Wait, no, this isn't supposed to be a serious conversation. Back to the subject. Yosuke, you have to be serious at some point. Don't worry about me. What you ought to be worried about is smooshes. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. God damn it, Yosuke. Shut up, this'll work out. I mean, he heard me through the screen. The Holy running. crap. That's all the advantage we'll need. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. Yosuke, I don't know about you, but I can have literally any girl wrapped around my pinky finger. And all I have to do is, like, consult Google. What do you got, Yosuke? This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. Yosuke, I can install a mod right now that'll make you fall in love with me. Don't test my power. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up-close-and-personal plan really starts. Who'd win the stand fight? Yosuke or Josuke? So, the thing about, uh, Personas is that they have a wider moveset. So, like, uh, specifically, jo uh, sorry, Yosuke right here, he has the power of wind, uh, and a heal, and also, like, a stand punch. As well as, like, buffs and debuffs. So in terms of utility, uh, Yosuke has a lot over Josuke. I think the question is... And also, like, he has more range. That being said, Josuke has a better healing ability in general. Uh, while Yosuke can heal himself, and Josuke can't, Josuke can, like, heal you from grievous injuries, like, super quickly, whereas... Yosuke would have to, like, train super hard for a while in order to do that. So, we have to, like, separate them. I think... I think Josuke could beat, like, normal-ass Yosuke. But I think he'd have a tough time against, like, endgame Yosuke. That being said, Yosuke is a... F he's a dumbass. And, like, that whole... The whole scene... Where Josuke had the piece of glass with Kira's blood on it return to Sender when he healed it is not something that Yosuke would figure out. So I think in terms of tactics, Josuke has the advantage. So yeah, that's my official stance. Uh, Josuke could easily defeat, like, beginning of game Yosuke. But, he'd have a tough time with endgame Yosuke, but I think he, Josuke still might win. Up close and personal. Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We gotta take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. Also, I guess you guys weren't here for my, uh, for the start of this, like, whole playthrough, but, uh, the reason that this stream is called 
Persona 4 Diamond is Unbreakable because I have named our protagonist Josuke Jojo because Higashikatawa wouldn't fit in the last name section. And also, in Japan, they usually call you by your last name, so a lot of the characters will call me Jojo. So that's sort of the vibe that we're going with this one. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. What the fuck, Yosuke? That's like... Some fetishy shit. Like, I don't kink shame in this house, but like... Don't bring it up in front of... Strangers and Kanji. What, fe feral zone? No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot! I'm talking about pheromones! My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones! What is pheromones? Uh... How can I explain it? So pheromones are... sort of like... a scent produced by a species that attracts a mate. Uh, males and females both produce them, but essentially it is a smell that a member of the opposite sex, or, you know, any any mate that you're trying to attract, uh, would find attractive. So, Yosuke is saying that by getting a motorcycle, you're gonna smell good to other girls? I, honestly, like, he, the science doesn't check out with what Yosuke is saying. Pheromone. Kanji's not doing us any favors by saying it like that with a blush. Dude, that's how a perv would react. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. That deserves a screen grab. What the fuck, Kanji? <laughs> I am going to be posting that to uh, Twitter later. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So, partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? <laughs> Word up, Butterjam. Teenagers are, in fact, whack. Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. <laughs> I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! Like, Yos Yosuke, hear me out here. I was with you when it was for transportation. But once you started trying to bring the science of attraction into this, like, I I'm off that motorcycle, buddy. I'm walking. I'm taking the bus. It's true that with a motorcycle, your range of activities will increase somewhat. Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. What are you gonna do, Yosuke? Like, style your hair into a pompadour and, like, drive out into the sunset with your motorcycle gang? Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Should you try consulting Dojima about the motorcycle tonight? Classes have ended for today. Will someone else appear on the Midnight Channel when it rains again? You have no choice but to wait and see. Well, let's take a look at, uh, what Sweat Drops here wants. Did, did, did you hear? It seems there's a ghost at Tatsuhime Shrine. If you go there at night, a woman's ghost will approach, and, and she threatens you unless you give her a fish. What, why fish, though? It's not something people carry around with them, you know? Uh, I don't think I can go near the shrine for a while. Excuse me, I have another request. Will you hear me out? Yeah, sure, why not? I have another request. After you brought me that angel before. This time, can you bring me a crucifix? I'd really like to keep it next to the angel. Just gonna exercise the ghost at the shrine? G gonna bring Jesus into the Shinto shrine to fight Inari or something? I, uh, heard some scary news again. I'm scared just to be in my room by myself. Yeah, sure, why not? Wow, thank you very much. Silver ones are pretty common, so something like a crooked cross would be nice. I think that would work, so I'll be waiting for you. A crooked cross. A 
One thing that's really interesting about this game is that it takes place in 2011, which is coincidentally the year that I graduated high school. So, like, even though they're second years in this one, like, it kind of feels nostalgic because, you know, I would have been in high school at this time. I would, I would have been their senpai. God. I still remember, like, the pose that I did when my parents took a picture of me in, like, my graduation gown. I, I was dumb and I did the whole finger guns thing. And just with a shitty grin and it looks, like, really dumb. But that's just, that's just classic Carson. That was back when I was in my edgelord phase, too, so. Anyone hanging out here? I know Kanji said that he wanted to hang out at the, uh, in the Shadow World, but, like... I should have had a... I uh, should have done JoJo pose? You know, if I was into JoJo at that point, I definitely would. Uh, oh, shit, actually. It might be worth it to bring this up, but, uh... I do have a Polaroid of me doing a JoJo pose in front of the Tokyo Sky Tree. You know what? Screw it. I'll I'll show that on stream right now. Give me one sec. Just gonna alt tab out of there. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find it. I, like, literally just posted on Twitter a week ago or something, so it should just be in my media section. Um... <laughs> There's the picture of crudely drawn giraffe. Actually, I feel bad for leaving you guys left out of this. Here, I'll, I'll throw it on this screen. Uh, there's the weather. Common Rider. There we go. Here, I'll open a new tab and I'll zoom in. Nice and big. Uh, and there's me doing Josuke's pose in front of the Tokyo Sky Tree. That is my crowning achievement to have done a JoJo pose in Japan. Now back to Persona. What's going on, man? I see. It's hard to follow everything you read. Oh, right. He wants to do cat food things. Um, let's see if I have any personas I can fuse. No. There's a mysterious letter on the floor of this room. Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something is written on it in powerful strokes. Why? Where am I going, you ask? Don't ask stupid questions. I don't need a map. I throw away my compass. My heart will show me the way. I walk by myself. Am I not lonely, you ask? Yeah, right. I scorn the company of my own shadow. Freedom. That is the rule. Why don't you try and hold me down? I will die magnificently in front of you. No one can break my wings. So Marie is a scene girl who writes emo poetry. 
This must be another of Marie's poems. Ah! Uh... What is this? Did you read that? You did it again! Why? What, 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 what the hell is wrong with you? I told you not to read that stuff. That's my rule. I live here. My house. My rules. I hate you, stupid rule breaker. I can't believe this. Marie blushes. I don't understand. I remember putting it away. Marie returns to her seat and fidgets restlessly. So I'm going to have to keep hanging out with her because she unlocks an extra dungeon at the end of the game that I missed on my first playthrough. And it's going to be the closest thing to a blind playthrough in this whole thing. Uh, actually. You know what, yeah, let's check the fusion forecast. Nothing's happening today. Oh shit, Paragamer, thank you so much for following. Oh sorry, for hosting, jeez. I appreciate it. Alright, anything we can make? Uh, we're level 20, so we can make we can make Andra or Vitala? What's Vitala uh, all about? Okay. It's like a cross between an elephant and a mind flare. Uh, she's I? Aww. It's like a fluffy kid in. Uh, I gotta be, like, higher level to do Matador. Matador's like, <laughs> he is a Spanish skeleton, and he is great. But yeah, I'm gonna have to level up before I do any of this. I have to eventually make Matador too, just because uh, one of the characters, Margaret, wants me to like make cool personas. All right. Well, I mean, it's raining. There's not much to do today, so let's actually. Hmm. Let's actually go to uh, the Shadow World. Beat up some guys in a bathhouse. Oh, and we also got a bigger table. Oh, then that means... Oh, that's sad. So, with the smaller table, I could see, like, the crudely drawn animals. But now now they're gone. Forever. And that's sad. Alright, let's go into the TV. We're departing already? There you are, Sensei! I'm so bored! Okay. Oh, by the way! I sense a powerful shadow at the steamy area where you found Kanji. I think this world is getting more and more unstable. I just want to live here in peace. Sensei, could you defeat the shadow at the steamy place? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, gonna save first, though. Okay, Teddy. Oh, right, I have to talk to Kanji to go to his dungeon. Ugh, si seriously, dude? Um, you saved my life. Thanks. Now let's go to the bathhouse. You serious? Well, if we gotta, we gotta. Uh, yeah, yeah, we gotta. Our team is filling out now that Yuki-chan and Kanji are on board. Yeah, there were just a couple of us to start out with. Alright, let's get fired up! Uh, we can organize the party to talk uh, by talking to our companions. Kanji, come with us. I don't want to go back in there. Okay, well, you're gonna. <sighs> I... Okay. Oh, shit, our party's empty. Uh, we're gonna swap out Yosuke with Kanji, because... Honestly, like, everyone drops Yosuke. Uh, ignore it. Just ignore it. Are glasses always this much of a pain? Yes, they are. All right, Yukiko, you're a healer. You you are permanently added to the party. What's the specific musical theme for this game? I'm guessing rock. Um. So, uh, I wouldn't say that's rock, cause uh, 
honestly, it, it has more of a pop feel. Like... Like, I can understand where you're coming from, because Persona 5 had a jazz theme. Like, you cannot take it away from that, otherwise you take away what Persona 5 is. But with Persona 4, like, it is just upbeat. Uh, but it's also got, like, rap and stuff, so... I, I think you'll hear it more and more, just the, the poppiness of it, because, uh... It, it's like pop with rap. Sense a strong shadow in the flaming room that Jeez, flaming? Okay. Gonna gonna do us like that, Teddy. Alright, so we have to go to like the room where we actually fought Kanji in order to fight this like super tough boss. Also, I'm gonna send an SOS so that I get like health boosts. There is? That's oh, it's tiny. It's a little baby shadow. Shadow. This enemy's All right, so kind of apt that the uh, pig is weak against fire. Two enemies down. Here's our chance. Damn, couldn't finish it. Here Wonder what the musical we theme will be <laughs> for Persona Six. That's actually a good question. I'd really love it if they went, like, super grungy. Like, guitars with a lot of distortion. Maybe even punk. <laughs> God, could you imagine, like, a Persona game, but with, like, a Devil May Cry-style soundtrack? Actually, if you want a game with really, really good music that is definitely with a theme, uh, check out the Guilty Gear series, because uh, the director of the game, uh, Daisuke Ishiwatari, uh, he just straight up plays all the music, uh, composes it, like he's also the game designer and like the lead artist. Guilty Gear is like one of my favorite games, man. Uh, piano music for Persona 6. Yeah, that would definitely really tie into, like, the Velvet Room music, too. Maybe, like, uh... J just, like, tie everything together with a, a backing piano theme. And incorporate it. That would be really, really nice. Uh, they're weak against light, and that's gonna use up a lot of my skill points. But I'll allow it. Because it's an instant kill. Piano Rock? Yeah! That would be really good. I always appreciate it when, uh, rock has a softer side to it. Oh, so I can choose two more. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the happy XP. And I'm going to take the clean sweep. And I don't care about the happy XP, because I just get an instant level up with this card. Ooh, and it's got EXP share. I don't think I really need any physical skills with Phoenix, so I'm gonna swap out Twin Shot. Yosuke, okay. What's up, what's up, Yosuke? Yo, how's it going? You, you can do it, buddy. Yeah, same goes to you. Let's be careful and keep at it. Oh yeah, here. This is for you. Sweet. What's up, Fox? He doesn't seem too upset. 
Oh, he gave me a peach seed. Thank you, Fox. I smell three. Fire's ultra effective. Go. So yeah, as you can kind of hear from uh, this compared to like Reach Out to the Truth, it's the musical stuff is all over the place with this game, but it's definitely got like a pop sound to it. Three enemies dead. Here's our chance. Okay. Oh, right, I forgot to turn the auto off of Kanji. Damn it. Good job, Yukiko. Alright, so we can get Valkyrie. I'm not gonna save her, though, because, like, I'm only gonna use her in Fusion because I have a better Valkyrie in the storage thing. I absolutely prefer the uh, talking to demon system in Persona 5 over the uh, card system here in Persona 4. Uh, I think it's because like I played Shin Megami Tensei a little bit before Persona. Have I played Persona 5 yet? Yes! Uh, Persona 5 is my absolute favorite game. Before Persona 5 came out, my favorite game was Persona 4, so I got a bit of a bias. But uh, I was... I was in Tokyo in the September that uh, Persona 5 released, so I got my hands on the Japanese collector's edition of that that comes with a soundtrack for all five games. Uh, and then when Royal came out, I picked up the uh, collector's edition of that as well. And I got like the Joker mask and everything. I, I really want to play Persona 5 on stream, but uh, we'll have to see where people are at in terms of like Persona content. It's a weak opponent! This'll be easy! That's interesting. The whole Persona series is a JoJo reference. Oh, absolutely. The way that Personas are, it's absolutely, like, they had to have pulled from JoJo. Because, uh, what came before it, Shin Megami Tensei, uh, just, you collected demons. It was closer to, like, M-rated Pokemon. Come on down. Ain't working. Two okay, so left. Thunderbolt and Lightning didn't work. Let's try fire. Nope. Ice? If ice doesn't work, I've exhausted all of my elemental attacks. Oh hey, ice works. Actually, uh, one big thing about the, jo uh, the Persona series being a JoJo reference. There was this game on uh, 3DS called Persona Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth. And the main characters from Persona 3 and Persona 4 came together. Uh, and you could like choose a route to go through and a main character to play as. But when the pl uh, Persona 3 crew met the Persona 4 crew, uh, everyone was doing JoJo poses. And like... That was, that was their grand entrance. And it wasn't just like, oh, haha, like, main character has their hand in front of their face, that's neat. No, everyone was doing the pose of a different JoJo. They got, they had Josuke, they had Giorno. Uh, I don't know if they used the Jolene pose, but they there definitely had part one and two, uh, Jonathan and Joseph. I think maybe they had a, uh, an Abdal pose, too. God, that game was so self-aware, it was great. Unfortunately, it was a uh, it was an Etrian Odyssey type of game, so not only were the dungeons randomized and you had to draw a map yourself, but like I don't know, the combat didn't feel as fun. I have a lot of respect for Etrian Odyssey as a series, but it's just not for me.
damn did they respect the Persona license, though. All right, we are fighting a literal tiger. It's not strong at all. Uh, I don't want to use Mahama, because that is gonna use all of my SP. Let's see if I have somebody with just Hama. Yeah, Jack Frost has him. Let's go hee ho on this bitch. Nope. I really have to turn Kanji off of automatic. Alright, does darkness affect it? Nope. Okay, so we just gotta, like, kick its ass. That's not how you kick ass, Gia. Alright. Direct command, Kanji. Man, I forgot to get Kanji armor and stuff. Oh shit! It's down. We can smash them all. Let's do it. Holy shit, Kanji! You rock with that chair. Oh, but we got more enemies. One reinforcement. Hang in there. And it's another fucking tiger. Okay. <laughs> Gotta go hit the sack. Have a good night and stream. Oh, Thank you so much, Butter Jam. You guys, you have a good night too. I couldn't do it. And get hype for uh, Eyes of Heaven on Wednesday, because we're gonna come back to that. <laughs> Sensei, keep it up! There! Please come again. <laughs> Didn't know that uh, her frisbee had Juness branding on it. I mean, I guess that's where you go get a frisbee in this town, but still. You'd think that they'd buy, like, not store brand. Hey, it's the stairs. Wait, why was it locked? It makes no sense. Is there like a way around that was more dangerous? Honestly, kind of scared that uh, if I hang out around too long here, the Reaper's gonna come and get me. That's not a joke. Like, the, the actual Grim Reaper is going to be coming soon. Whoops. Yeah, there's one, but honestly, like... It's not worth fighting. He a bitch. He a punk ass bitch. I got that. Whatever that is. I think that, like, relieves status ailments or something? Oh well. Upward network. Oh shit, I'm playing as Kanji. Okay. Uh It's weak to wind. Great. So Lay down and die already. Smack him. Charge through him. I believe light worked on the fish. And then I got to swap out to Phoenix and use wind. Good work, Sensei. That's one so far. It's strong wind too. It's not your average breeze. Now's our chance. Oh, ready. Yeah! 
Kick its ass, Kanji. Alright, so we could get Oberon. And you know what? I am going to get Oberon. Uh, I got two left. Gonna swap one out to a Persona. Sure, I'll get Sylph. There we go. Now I'm stocked up on Personas to fuse. Kanji better be happy that I took him to the Shadow World today. He specifically called me last night and told me that he wanted to go. If I don't get friendship points with him, then I'm gonna be sad. Wait, I don't think I've even started his social link yet. Shit, I gotta get on that. I know these guys. Enemies. I know you can win. They suck against dice. Come on, Jack Frost. Persona. Fucking hee ho their asses. Damn straight. Alright, so... Yeah, I'll take the change to Arcana. Why not? Damn it. That was the one that I didn't want to change to Arcana. Uh, let's change one to Persona. Oh man. Um... Okay, so I can either avoid the can uh, encounters or take Mokoi. I don't think I have Mokoi yet, so... In fact, I don't, because it said new. I should learn to read. Oh, that lifestone's gonna be great. thing I appreciate uh, just as a quality of life improvement from Persona 4 to 5 is that a lot of the uh, mementos conversations are just they help break the boredom between just like wandering a dungeon and fighting and just having the characters talk really just builds them up eat shit hand a rare monster beat the stuffing out of it this one's big. All right, well it's weak against the electricity, so I'm gonna I'm gonna zap it. I'm gonna use Mazio though. <laughs> Come on down. Pull that enemy down. That's it, Kanji. Oof. All right, well I mean, may as well. Two enemies left. Oh, do I have anything that? Not really. No, oh, whatever. Good work, Sensei. That's one so far. Any physical attacks? No, I think only Chie has those. So persistent. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll cast Rebellion. Get that crit rate up. Didn't need it. We were nearly done. <laughs> it's it's all right. We got Kanji on the team. Damn, couldn't finish. It. Damn it, Kanji. All right. Gonna use up my electric. Go, Sensei. You knocked it down. Who 
Ooh, yeah, Rampage is gonna be good. Chi-Chan is swatting them left and right. Kinda bummed that uh, I got a critical on the wrong thing. Couldn't finish. One enemy, fight, fight, fight. So persistent. All right, Chi, crit that bitch. Unfortunately, I don't need an AOE attack right now, so... It ain't going down. There we go, I got a threat. Direct hit. We can smash it's him my off. turn! I live for this part! Yeah. Alright. So one thing I do not want out of this is half money. Unfortunately, I now can't get money up, so. Alright, I'll take Titan. Uh, and I'll drop... Yeah, I don't need the, the smiley raindrop. hanging around. Fucking nothing. Good. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. There are two enemies. Huh? This'll be us. All right, the week against dark. Which persona of mine has... Oh, jeez, that's Kanji. Okay. Um, Kanji, hit them with your chair. Yeah, it ain't going good down. job. Uh, Yuki-chan! This doesn't look good! Two enemies! Charge through! All right, which of my personas has a dark thing? Is Mokoi? No. Titan? No. I need Mudo. I think all of my personas have light. Alright, well, we'll swap out to Phoenix, because Phoenix is just stronger in general. Alright, Yukiko. Kill them with the power of Satan! All right. Well, oh man, we got the Kirin. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I want the Kirin. We'll swap out Titan for it. Sorry, Titan, you've been replaced. Sensei. And I'm now level 22, hey. Jeez, I have way more treasure chest keys than I thought I did. At some point I might have to grind for them, but at this point I am solid. Anything good down here? No, just an enemy. Watch, the stairs will be down there. And we also have to fight a shadow. Great. This is the worst detour ever. <laughs> Electricity should work. Okay. Do I have anything with like 
all around the electricity. Yeah. When you got us. All enemies down. Let's ready. Oh, I'm not doing great on a skill point stuff. Could get Bareth. He's new. Yeah, let's do that. And we can. Oh, who can I ditch? I guess I'll ditch Valkyrie. Because I got a better one in the compendium. to avoid these fuckers. And I drew aggro. That's just how I roll, I guess. Joke's on you, I am the king of avoiding shit. Monsters, responsibilities, getting on with my life, all of that. Just great at avoiding it. Got it. I'm going to ice them. Get it? Good night, everybody. Every time it takes that long to load, I fear that it's crashed. Uh, apparently, this game had like a lot of problems at launch, which, you know... I get it. Oh, shit. It was a Vita game. Don't know if that translates completely I well, so... Show them your stuff. Not so fast, Hulk Hogan. Alright, so that's light. You can win this. And Do you I guess maybe dark? <laughs> Come on now! Jeez, he can just not hit, can he? Uh, I think we're gonna need Phoenix for this one. We have multiple guys that are weak against life. Amazing! Go to town, senpai. You two of them. Actually, yeah, let's see if this one's weak against Sig. Nope. One enemy! Fight! 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 Just tried to bitch slap Yukiko for summoning Satan. I do kind of want to get the Satan persona in this game. Alright, Killer Twins! I don't like Spice. And I think the, uh, the Burbs don't like electricity. So what do I got going on right now? Let me do Okay, okay. Please. Good work, Chia. God damn it. Amazing sensei, keep it up! On the plus side, I guess just nothing can hit me. Can't say the same about Yukiko, though. Come here, Take two enemies Kanji. down. That's awesome, Kanji. Uh, I mean, just punch it, Kanji. It ain't going down. Three enemies. Let's get through this. Persona. There. At least Yukiko can use fire. Smooth, God damn it, Yukiko. Yuki two enemies defeated. All right, well, I'd show you how a pro gamer actually does this, but, uh, I'm out of SP. Just 
just completely. Yuki-chan's in danger! Help! Now she's dead. Someone! It ain't going down! Just one enemy left! That, uh... Didn't go well. I'm just gonna grab the skill card. More power for me. Yeah, yeah, good on you, Kanji. Geez, though, I'm massively underleveled then. If Kanji's like base is I'm level 25. Collapse. Oh, Yukiko, you just need to pull through for us. Actually, Yukiko, you have a heal. There we go. It's weak. Hmm. So I'm the only one with a light attack. There we go. Just I've got like a pittance left. of SP. Hopefully that carries me through this floor. Oh shit! Didn't even need that SP! GA pulled through with a crit! Alright, let's go for the clean sweep. I'm alright with the uh, half the XP. Damn it. I got half the EXP, and literally all I got was the sweep. Alright, well, I'll clear this floor, and then uh, we'll call this dungeon. Unfortunately, all I can do once uh, I go home is sleep, so... Even though that soul drop only gives me 10 SP, I'm thankful for every SP recovery item. Do we fight the Red Shadow? Yeah, you know what? We'll fight the Red Shadow. Alright, so on one hand, every all of these guys are weak against light, but he's gonna repel it, and an instant kill on this character means I have to restart at the last save. So that is quite the pickle. I think I'm going to be responsible and just do these guys one at a time. It's more expensive, but... If the pimp king over there with his leopard print cape Good reflexes, work, uh, reflex my light so back at me, I'm fucked. That's it. Game over for me. No one stands All in right, Sensei's way. Ah, and I don't think he has fire, so. But I have the power of crits. Now Dan's ready. Don't summon, no, please. Yikes! Reinforcements! We were no Use I Alright, well. It's over. Well, this isn't a total loss. Uh oh. Yuki Chan's showing real no mercy. Alright. A level 3 skill card's definitely worth. So what I'll do is I'll get the money up. Change the half money. Nope. Guess I'm not changing that. Uh, 
kind of want the sweep. Yeah, I'll take the sweep. Maybe it's because I'm kind of sleepy, but I thought that said thought shot. <laughs> Deals extra damage against female characters. But you have to say milady. Nah, I can't afford to take that hand. We ain't Yoshikage Kira. Oh shit. Chains are rattling, that means the Grim Reaper's here. I don't have Yosuke with me. Which means I don't have a guaranteed escape. Oh, that's close. Okay. No, we are... We are going home. Let's go back to the entrance. Unfortunately, it's gonna be like super expensive for the fox to heal me, so. Alright, what can we make? Uh, we can make Legion, not Huapo. We can make High Pixie. She's like Pixie, but she has a cool haircut. Oh, but that gets rid of Phoenix, and I like our Phoenix. Uh, Yaxini? I can afford ditching Oberon and Barith. Ooh. Ooh, we can make King Frost. And it doesn't even cost a lot. I don't even have to use my Jack Frost. Oh, that's tempting. I cannot wait until we can make Fortuna. She is one of my favorite demons in SMT. What's Ikusa? God. It's like a guy wearing a dunce cap and a diaper. Oh, uh, yeah, we already saw that one. I can't believe Incubus is so, uh, such a high level in this one. Plus, if I get Incubus, I don't know if... I don't know if my stream's gonna get taken down. What's Gadon? Ah, oh, shit, Gadon looks super cool. Oh, I want that one. Once we get to, like, a decent level, for sure. Gur is, like, Bone Bird. I'll take Gur. But we gotta get our boy King Frost. Gotta build that Frost army. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the Persona Compendium. Register my boys. Actually, I can register them all. The wrong way for that one. Yeah, screw it. Let's do this one. Uh, and we'll definitely give him a dark skill. Let's see. Let's give him the Zappies, too. 
Unfortunately, we're, uh, we're not friends with Kanji yet, so he won't get a boost. I'm King Frost. Ho! Nice to meet ya. Hee ho. Yeah. Alright, does that mean we can make anything neat? Doesn't look like it. We can still make Gadong? That's good. How are you guys doing? Alright, we gotta we gotta make Magidor. And we can't hang out with Marie. Great. That was a productive conversation, guys. Thank you very much. Let's go home. Oh, hey, Dachi's here tonight. Ah, you're back. Hi there. Oh, right, we had to talk to him about the motorcycles. You want some meal, too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Yeah, but, like, Canadian supermarket eel's probably, like, dog shit, but Japanese supermarket eel might be okay. Well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. Personally, I'm not really into unagi. Like, all of my friends love barbecue eel, but I just can't get into it. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? You know, like a normal person. Don't be stupid. Oh, jeez, just shot him down. But eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eely proud of her daddy. <laughs> and no one ate dinner Did my that joke night. slip away? It is an eel, after all. Just eat your dinner. E yes, sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. Oof. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. This is the roast of Adachi here. You need to consult Dojima about getting a motorcycle license. What's the matter? I need to consult you about getting a motorcycle, a motorcycle license. You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Uh, I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he wants one out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Yeah, it fucking sucks. Right? It's criminal. You say that, but... That but... reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san, about some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. Oh ho ho! You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. It's me? Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Does the sus with the mo have a perf al? Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. Just eating every part of the eel, I guess. Well? About this license. Did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it? Yep. I know it's hard without a way to get around. But two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? I want you to trust me, Dojima. You've, uh, kind of not been doing that this entire time. 
It's not that I doubt you, but allowing you to get one is something else. Dojima seems troubled. Don't give me that face. I, I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. It's all right. I'm very tired from fighting crime. It's from Yosuke. Yo, it's me. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can. I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. Yosuke must really want a motorcycle license. You promised to go to the exam site with him tomorrow. You wonder about the suspicious guy Adashi mentioned. But there's no way to find out more about it now. You should review the manual Yosuke gave you and study for the license exam. Oh shit, I should have saved in the in the Shadowverse. That's another game I want to get into, Shadowverse. Morning. Yosuke seems sleepy. I went to bed, but little details kept bugging me. So I get up again to check the manual. It never ended. I end up getting almost no sleep at all. Well, if we're gonna do this, let's pass on the first try. How are you feeling? Yes. Easy. <laughs> now that's my partner. I'll see you haven't forgotten about our up close and personal plan. Well, let's make sure we're not late to the exam. We'll leave as soon as school's out. Classes have ended for today. You promised Yosuke that you would go get your license with him after school today. You should get going. You take the license exam with Yosuke. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. You succeeded in passing the exam. Obtain scooter license. Damn straight. <laughs> we passed on the first try. Just like we planned. Jeez, even Yosuke then. Must be an easy exam. Actually, it was pretty easy. Yeah. Might have studied a little too hard. See, one thing I super don't like is uh, our exams for learners, at least. You need to know about demerits Hi. and like. Are you on duty? That never comes up if you're a good driver. We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Got it. Dachi's in the washroom. Where did you guys go? To get our licenses. Already? Yeah, I got it. I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Oh well. Looks like I better think of a way to convince my sister. About what? Oh, right! His sister is my mom. <laughs> God, I keep forgetting that he's like Uncle Dojima instead of Papa Dojima. Then you're okay with this? I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes, you got the okay. I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. Yo! Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. I mean, free scooter is better than having Letting to buy a scooter. It. It's a nice bike. You can tell? 
The local shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Uh, don't tell anyone that, okay? Dojima's passion for the scooter is obvious. You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? See, that's what I like about Dojima. He may come across as like a really shit dad, but his heart's in the right place. I just don't think he knows how to, well, number one, handle a work-life balance, and number two, handle a single-parent household. Like... Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still, Dojima is thoughtful, but he can't handle it. Like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Wow, Adachi, just spilling the beans in front of me. Looks like he knows the back streets, too. So a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Well, anyway, I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. Yeah, we were better than you. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> See, I, I communicated with you. Therefore, you were right to place your trust in me. Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? Oh man, Nanako's gonna join a biker gang. Dojima's chuckling mischievously. Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise Ooh. me? Good. I'll hold you to that. We get to leave the city before we can leave our house at night. You receive Dojima's scooter. As you ride around and get a feel for the local roads, you'll be able to go to more places. Oh shit. Let's take a long ride. Nope. Guess we're going around the neighborhood. We sure went around that neighborhood. Oh, we went to... The station where I was dropped off at the beginning of the game. Interesting. Sorry, that... That sign says karate and something. Karate to... I can't read those kanji. Hey, we got more courage, though. Maybe we'll start hitting on chicks once our courage is bopped up. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. Package came for you. It's on the table there. Oh, right, I got my... <laughs> I got my $100 underwear from the TV show. Let's put on our underwear, shall we? Whoops. Need to go to equip for that. I mean, it's like a massive improvement. And also gives me more HP. Let's give... Let's make Chie our tank. That means Kanji can actually, like... <sighs> Sorry, defend himself now. do we give to him? I guess we'll give him the wing strap. Oh, oh. 
Alright, but we got through a lot of plot today, so I think I'm gonna call it. With the uh, camping trip coming up, it's gonna be, you know, really fun. We're getting into the meat of the game now. Oh, shit. Well, that's great, Butter Jam, but unfortunately, I'm just about to end it, so I'm really sorry about that. Because, uh, now I gotta go to sleep. Or, at the very least, work on stuff and then go to sleep. Um, but, I guess, coming up features. On Wednesday, we're gonna be going back to, uh, Jojo Eyes of Heaven. Uh, don't think we're going to finish an next stream. I think it's going to take at least two more. Because I think we've only done a couple of them. Uh, also, like, I'm only eight more follows away from uh, the 50 followers spectacular. Where I record myself singing five ska songs and then we play Tony Hawk again. So, whenever that happens, I'll uh, let you guys know when we're going to do the celebration stream. Uh, also, I gotta figure out, because, uh, I need to have, like, three average viewers, in, like, an average of three viewers per stream, uh, for 24 hours of recorded content to get affiliate. Uh, maybe we'll have, like, a rally to try and get that, uh, and then I'll figure out what the celebration for affiliate's gonna be. Uh, but hey, things are coming together! I'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Thank you very much for